Okay, I'd now like to show you how to join the connection kit uh, into rainwater pipe. Two options. We can either take the condensate and take it to the rainwater pipe, which I'd like to show you first, or we can take the rainwater and we can bring it to the condensate pipe. So we'd need for that termination kit. We just simply twist this to suit your site specific installation. You can see how that works. We would then join the connection kit to a termination kit and that takes us into the rainwater pipe. The second option that we spoke about, we can bring the rainwater pipe to the condensate. On this one, we just need the connection kit. We don't need the termination kit. We've cut this one at 45 degrees, as is good practice. And then we've got a number of different options how we can bring the rainwater pipe up to meet the condensate. The first option I'd like to suggest, as we're all familiar with these, a hopper. Easy to install, readily available. Not my personal favourite. You've always got the possibility of debris getting in there and causing a blockage. So I'd like to show you some other options. So this time what we're suggesting is using a four inch to two and a half inch rainwater pipe adapter turned upside down. Again, there's the air brake that's required. A little bit of debris could still get down there, um, but there is another option. Um, so we'll go to that next. The third option I'd like to show you, and my preferred option, is just using a rainwater pipe straight connector. Pop that into your pipe. That just slides over the insulation over the condensate. There is still the air cap as required, but there's no chance of debris going down there. And that is, in my opinion, a very cost-effective solution. 